morning guys it's early again 5 30 and again my husband woke up watching my videos <laughs> so weird so anyway um wanted to show you something these are those english muffins i was telling you about look at how nice and thick those are it's like a hamburger bun almost definitely really good for three smart points and um and he has salsa on his eggs too in the morning coffee's making i'm making some bacon and my husband got this at work isn't that cool oops isn't that cool it's um waterproof so i can take it in the shower so awesome i've been listening to it and here is my morning coffee for two smart points guys i'm having one cup of the kombucha and it's pretty good i really like it this is also two i'm going to count this as two smart points this is homemade from our farmer's market and she she did use stevia in there too but when I look online, it comes up as two smart points because she did say it was five, about five grams of sugar in here for a cup. So I'm going to count it for two smart points and call it good. And I just had one cup. Having an apple snack before breakfast, which is really odd, but this will be my fruit for breakfast. And I just didn't feel like actual breakfast yet. I have four ounces of the turkey, smoked turkey for one smart point. All right, guys, here is breakfast. I finally got around to breakfast. It's about 9.30. I have one egg that's fried in Pam, and I have another egg that's on my biscuit here. This is the Aunt Millie's, super soft, as you can see. It's so soft and it's so good, and it's really thick like a hamburger bun almost. And it's also three points, just like the Thomas. I have two slices of the Nooski bacon for two points and a slice of Velveeta for one. So this whole meal here is three, four, five, six points. And I already had an apple and a cup of coffee. So eight points for breakfast this morning. Hey guys, I got lunch prepped here. I have see some butternut squash to go into the oven at 450 for about 30 minutes. Sometimes it takes a little longer, depends on how fresh the squash is, we found out. And then I'm having a cup of the red potato tomato soup. I really like the Trader Joe version. This is a point higher though. This is five points per cup. Trader Joe's is only four, but we are out of that. And I really like the soup. So I'm gonna have this and I'm going to put that inside that because it's really good. This will end up being a five point lunch today. And the spice I have on here, or the seasoning I have on here is from Penzi's, and it is the Rocky Mountain seasoning. So good, so, so good. If you have a Penzi's spice nearby, I know many states have one, so check in your area. Otherwise, you can order it right directly from their website, and they have free shipping on, I think it was like $20 or more, $25, some, somewhere around there, they have free shipping. And the spices are so wonderful. Fox Point and Rocky Mountain are the top two that we use all the time. All right, guys, this is lunch, and I'm actually putting my butternut squash inside of my roasted red pepper soup. Really good. One cup is five smart points. So this total lunch is five smart, five smart points, and I have 32 ounce glass of water that I'm working on. Actually, this is my second one and it is about 12 30. i do not know why i always forget to record my yogurt but this is my yogurt for one point the butterfinger dessert yogurt i'm also having it early today again because i wanted it early so one point all right guys this is what i'm having for a snack right now we're about to eat dinner and this is a triple espresso over ice in a venti cup with three pumps of cinnamon dolce sugar-free cinnamon dolce and i added a chocolate premier protein to this delicious and it really is filling you could have this for a lunch because it really does fill me up i've been drinking this since lunchtime and it lasts a long time all right guys this is a medium-sized plate this is what we are calling cashew chicken over brown rice from trader joe's this is three smart points i have a half a cup and the sauce stuff is three points as well. Just a little over half a cup of that. And that is dinner tonight and it is delicious. I have a cook with me that's coming up.
probably won't be up before this, but it'll be coming soon, and then I will link it down below when it does go live. Good evening, guys. I have my last snack of the night here, which is an apple. I am working on my cook with me. It is the cashew chicken, and it was so, so, so good. And it was a, just a recipe I made up. It is so delicious, though. Can't wait to share it with you guys, but check for that in the description box. As soon as this is uploaded, I will put it in my daily vlog description box for you because that's when I had it for dinner, so you'll see it there. And it was so good. Definitely try it out. Hi, guys. For some reason, my camera keeps going in and out. Anyhow, I pretty much stayed home all day today. I did have a hair appointment. I got my gray hair covered, so I feel younger again. I wanted to let you know to send Sandy's sister-in-law a quick prayer. I believe her. she said her name was Barb. Send her a quick prayer because she's not doing well at all. She's in the hospital. Sandy has been really, really busy and driving back and forth to visit her in, two, in like a two-hour trip or something like that every day. So, yeah, send up a quick prayer for Sandy's sister-in-law and for Sandy's family because it sounds pretty serious. Hopefully she's okay, but Sandy, definitely keep us informed. Today for me went really, really well again. I am contemplating on not doing my workout tonight. It would be my second day I missed this month because I'm so tired. And I did a cook with me, which is uploading right now. So that took about a couple hours of my time there. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll at least do a half a mile, at least do something. I'll let you know though, tomorrow it'll be in the beginning of my video tomorrow for my daily vlog. I did finish my drink that I showed you yesterday. I love that stuff. It's really good. So I did finish that, the ice drink, and then I had a glass of tea tonight. And that's everything that I had that I didn't show you. Otherwise, everything was exactly right. I have two smart points left for the night, so I did awesome again today. If I don't get a loss this week, guys, I'm going to have to relook at everything and change something up because it's frustrating. I'll let you know, though. I should have a loss. I should have a loss. I've been doing awesome. I haven't had any cravings, guys, and you know why I think I haven't had any cravings? I haven't had crackers, I haven't had pretzels, I haven't had any of those carby snack things that make me feel hungry. So I'm going to continue that next week, I think, and see if I can continue my no craving binge feeling that I get every week, it seems like. So that was pretty cool. It wasn't really that hard to stay on track this week. I was really happy about it. <sighs> It's just lovely when I don't have a rough time with binging, you know, wanting to binge. It's just so refreshing. I am going to be making bagels tomorrow. Somebody had asked to see the inside of the bagels. So I'm going to do, I'm, I'm not going to do a cook with me on those. I'm just going to cook the bagels and then I'm going to eat one of them, just one. So, because it is three points because I messed up on the flour it's the aunt jemima flour self-rising that is just two points for the bagel not three the um pillsbury when i scanned somebody had said that that was three and i was told it was two so i was counting it as two well i scanned it and it did come up as three so my bagels would be three or six for two so that kind of stunk but either way i can still have one bagel and then I will just do like a quick little video on the inside of the bagel after it's done. And then I will just link that to my cook with me. So if you're interested in seeing the inside of that bagel, go to my cook with me on the bagels, which I'll link below too in the description box. And then you can see the inside of the bagel that way. And I don't know why I didn't think about doing that. That's kind of silly of me not to show that. But I know I showed it in one of my videos, but I don't know which one it is. So it'd be just easier just to do it again. That is it, guys, for tonight. I will let you know how tomorrow goes with the adding the exercise. And I'm going to continue to do great again tomorrow. Weigh-in is coming up very soon, and I'm getting excited about it. I have not gotten on the scale, guys, because I don't want to know what's going on. So I'm going to kind of be surprised about that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to send Sandy some prayers. 
and we will talk to you guys tomorrow for another what I ate and I think that's all I have planned for tomorrow I do have to start working on I have another collab video coming up and I'm gonna start working on that tomorrow so I will let you know that's supposed to be up on the 25th so come and check that out we will talk to you guys tomorrow bye Thank you.